leaders because the yellow is out. Okay, leaders coming on by here. So the turn in turn number one dust all over the place back down to you Nick. no more information when we do as the field has been neutralized and she had no brakes going into the corkscrew holy cow a huge accident where the car went m massively airborne straight up in the air nosed into the tires that to me jeremy looked like a braking issue and not any fault of sheena's it, it really did look now, let's see if we can uh, work out what happened there. Oh my goodness me, it was a huge one. One, two, three and a half. And ending up upside down. So let's see what, let's see see what, what we happened. can see here. Oh, he was already in the uh, gravel trap, rolling. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, he, he's done a... He got turned coming down. Yeah, Akira Yenagawa at the notorious corkscrew. Oh, oh, that's a big get off there. He came to the brakes. That is a nasty Oh, crash. he's taken Yenagawa out as well. That is a very, very unpleasant crash. The race was red flagged with Yenagawa rushed to hospital with serious chest injuries. The drama didn't end there. Less than 100 metres into the restart, New Zealand's Aaron Slight was clipped, triggering a disastrous domino effect. Six riders created a site similar to a war zone in the main straight. Oh, oh dear my me. God. That is serious. Oh, Coming dear. up the hill, Tony Bettenhausen's on the inside trying to make a pass. Dale Coyne moves over, gets Bettenhausen off of the road. They contact it, bent the front of Bettenhausen's car. There you see Coyne doing a 360, actually, turning and backing into the fence. The car comes in half, and that was a very violent crash. That hit extremely hard. So Dale Coyne, who picked up a spot play with the Western Championship, riding on board with Tim Carroll. Hard onto the brakes. Oh. oh, and hard into the wall. Fortunately for him, he kind of backed into the wall and didn't hit it sideways. Friday here, there was a very frightening moment. This is turn four. The driver is Patrick Carpentier. Look at him catch the lip of the edge of the gravel trap goes airborne, literally bounces off the tire barrier and pirouettes over the wall. The good news in all of this, despite heavy damage to the race car, is that Patrick Carpentier is all right. He's starting the race today and they've made some changes to the gravel pits all around the track because of Look, you're racing hard. There's no doubt about that. But at the same time that nobody's going to get too aggressive and jerk in the last eight minutes. Oh. We'll see if the aggressive goes up. Yes, it does. Ortiz is going to go now over. Brian Ortiz made contact with oh Kevin Cook. Goodness. And that car now is upside down. And Brian Ortiz has come to a stop here as the caution will come out. Well, I can tell you exactly how that happened. They came out of fit to take part in qualifying after this incident in practice three. And it came, Daryl, after... Uh, after doing a practice start at turn five. Yeah, and you can hear the onboard there just... Oh, let's take a look and maybe we can discern just what happened. Looks like Steve Hall oh. went to try to go to the inside. My gosh, what a crash that was. That was at the apex of turn number 10. This is the second big crash that he has had this year. The last one in Elkhart... Jeff Arbelin and the number 60 BMW of Rob Finley. Rob Finley hits the end of the pit concrete wall head on at full top speed, had nowhere to go. The mini out of control, maybe contact with the 77. You see Finley there is okay. And that is as bad a wreck as I've seen yeah. in quite a while. Right next year. Oh. Oh. Looks like Oriel Servia. Watch carefully. We don't see any movement yet. It's happening as far as his driving ability is concerned. He came up from the Formula car ranks and, and really shows a very fine style. Oh, John is a spun. Paul Jr. in second place lost a wheel off that Buick March and spun hard into the turnside armco. Oh, what an incredible shot. He really hit that barrier. Patrick Shelby, son of famous car designer Carroll, moved over on Mike Buckingham and crashed off the high-speed turn eight. The car disintegrated and very little was left to protect him. Trapped.
he struggled out, needing only stitches to his hand. Josh Hayes on the number four. Remember, first, second, and third right here as you see him. Oh, Josh Hayes is off! And another hard crash on the weekend for Josh Hayes. This time it turns six. Six hits hard as he breaks wider than usual, hits the paint, and that was enough to send him down and fun warming all the way to the gravel. Undaunted, he was up and back on the spare bike, a rodeo cowboy within minutes. you ask? Unfortunately, Lawson was involved in this horrific accident while battling with Baldwin and Mamola. Lawson suffered a bruised collarbone and elbow and was finished for the day. In slow motion, you can see Lawson being pushed to the outside by a back marker under the marbles. He loses traction and he's into the dirt where the rear end slides out and high sides him out of control into the hay bales. With Lawson out of the picture, the two green and white Yamahas of Randy Mamola and Mike Baldwin battled each other for the first leg win.